Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I am Different Content, thank you for hanging out with me. This is Raf Survival, and as you can see, I am ahead on our way to Balboa Island, the next place which we will be covering in today's video. I did make a steering wheel, so I did actually rotate the raft and set my sail in that exact location. We do have the engine to put down as, as seen in this chest here. Um, we do have the little animal, just a quick, do a quick little run through for anyone that isn't caught up to speed. We've got his recycler here, anchor, smelting little area, we've got his cooking area, and I'll actually cook a little, uh, I'll cook a vegetable soup for you guys. So what you're going to want is two of these, two of these, or you can have four of each, either way. So then you're going to want to clear your hotbar out, pull them down to your hotbar, place them in, just like so boom and boom then start cooking it's gonna go in like that fizzle up a little bit these are my uh, recipes at the back I did actually just climb up on the top of the cooking cooking pot and what you're also gonna need guys is a clay bowl they're pretty simple to make I think it's just clay and I'll cu cover that one for it's just clay it's just clay to make four bowls you can make two clay makes four bowls and then as soon as it finishes up cooking guys as you can see we also need titanium but we need to get to caravan island i do believe for that i do have some drinking recipes at the minute i'm going to make another smelter just because smelting needs to be more efficient and that is the sound of my guy dropping me an egg did i already wa water that yes i did keep it on top of things guys i need to rearrange up here because that steering wheel could do be with being in the view of this and i need to turn this off we are still headed in the exact location, 1400 meters away. Not too bad. Right, this should be just about done, surely. I have been extending the back as well, guys. I'm going to put the engine at the back. Not the shark, because that's the sound of it being done. As you can see, it says pick up vegetable soup. I did already have one as to why my hunger is so efficient. And it just fills up like that, and it never goes cold. So, my food chest, place the cup and put it back. I do have an egg in my inventory, two eggs in my inventory, don't like the number 13. Uh, thumbs up. Don't forget to like and subscribe guys and uh, show some love. Share it with your friends, share it with your family. Anyone that wants to just come kick back, relax with me, uh, we'll chill, we'll talk some crap in the comments box section. And I may, I may even go live if you guys wanna, want me to go live. I could even start on Twitch, you never know. And we could hang out and just chill, kick back and play some awesome video games. Even to get, we could even get involved together, me and you. You never know. It's up to up to your guys' faces what you want to see on the channel. I'm open. I'm all ears to anything. I should rearrange these antennas, Shunna. I? I should move one antenna to this back here. I don't know if it can be that far away though, and I don't really want to mess with the signal. But I'm just going to give it a go now, guys, and we'll see what we can do. And I'll we won't be won't be long now until we reach Balboa Island. Okay guys, so if I spin around, as so, as you can see coming into view, a huge island that's loading in ever so slightly, that would be the Balboa Island, I do believe, uh, 638 metres away, so it's quite a distance still, as you can see, but that is where we're going next guys, the big old bowl, Balboa Island, so I need to make sure that he's fed, and watered, and everything is ready for this island because it's a big ass island and it's going to take us a couple of days to get around guys so I need to make sure that I take you along for the whole journey let's do this if that doesn't look absolutely terrifying to you then I'm not quite sure what, whether, what will that looks absolutely frightening the sheer size of this place this is going to be a long visit boys and girls it's going to be a long visit let's do this well guys, just outside the island, we did just murder this bad boy, we'll get some meat off him, we're going to do a tactical thing, get four meat and leave the head, just so that it takes a little bit longer for him to respawn. Oh guys, also, I did make an engine, but I'm going to make a duplicate on this side, so then there's two engines, I'm going to link them up with pipes, I do believe you've got to do. I've put some planks in them already, I'm going to fuel them, and we're going to have an actual engine source, look at the size of this place. Oh god. God damn, I think we're at the back of the island, guys, as to why it's just sheer rock faces. So I'm going to make my way around the island, around this way, and uh, we will explore this vast, the place they call Balboa Island. Okay, guys, so after battling with the uh, with the sea, after not, because I don't have a, like, a good engine set up, so after battling with the sea for X amount of minutes, and about half an hour, 45 minutes, I'd say, I'm just going to enter in through this little 
holy peaky hole here and we're gonna get in and find out what Balboa Island has to offer let's pick up these eggs real quick as you can see he's a very very active mofo so it's water the crops but if we are going to want to capture an, an animal guys we are going to have to get the engines and hopefully make our way, our way around but for the for an engine let's just have a look i need i've got everything there apart from the plank so we're going to get on the island guys grab a bunch of resources see what it has to offer and i will take you around and we will explore it together so let's get right into it Okay guys, we made it under the little water part, let's just see if the shark tried to chase, I can't see him in the water, it's going to petrify me if he jumps out, oh my god, that was absolutely petrifying, I knew he'd end up following me in, ow, okay, steady on little lad, steady on little man, that was some scary ass, shiznit, it, right, so we're on the island guys, we are on the island, what have we got coming up first, a little fence, that states warning beyond this point no loitering no littering no cameras with flash no smoking or drinking no unauthorized vehicles hmm what are these wild berries very nice so it looks like this island's gonna have a lot to offer, offer guys so let's just uh quickly jump on here and i will turn master volume up so you guys can actually hear what's going on I want you guys not to know what's going on. Uh, I'm gonna have to. I'll do the, collect the wood and stuff in off camera. Let's just explore this together and find out what this island holds. So we've got signposts, guys. So let's have a look. Don't want to run into anything on the, on the follow. -up. Relay station two, ranger station, relay station four, six. Jeez. Ranger station, relay station two. So we're gonna to want to start from the bottom, but let's go this way. Ranger station and relay station too. I think we're gonna to want to start lowest and work his way up. Okay, guys, we're just following it up. Oh, okay. Relay station two. Oh, I read about this. It's the acid pool. I don't know if this is the last part where I need to be going. That's the ranger station. But we're gonna do it anyways. Oh, God, this is gonna suck if I fall in. Here we go. I think they do actually start sinking up underneath you and you, you know when you go in. Whoa! Oh my god damn guys, how did I do that? They do sink up behind you look and they come back up. That was my heart was in my mouth then, I don't know how I even managed that. So we want re relay station two or ranger station. If you could hear your house if you lived here your house is gone. Right, so let's have a look in the ranger station first. Let's see what what's going on in here. It requires one light bulb. Hello, hello. What have we got? Biofuel refiner. Perfect, guys. That's what we need. That is what we need to get biofuel. Right, so you know what? I'm just gonna keep on hold on to it just in case. I don't want to mess things up. Uh, what's that? Requires one Brun Bruno saw, so ranger station for Bruno saw, guys. Write it down. <gasps> oh, I thought it was gonna be a dialogue dialogue no note. Maybe not. Maybe not, guys. I'm having so much fun videoing this 
uh, video game guys and just showing it to your guy faces. I hope you are as well. Don't forget to like, subscribe, as I've already said. But I just love that you guys join me on the journey and after hitting 150 subs recently i could not be more thankful honestly words do not describe how thankful i am everything means the world to me guys it really does um behind the scenes i am putting in the work i'm trying my hardest guys as soon as i get more money in the bank i will upgrade the setup and we will move on from there right so ranger station tackled let's see what uh Relay Station 2 has, I believe you do have to work but from this bottom and start your way, uh, work your way up, so let's just have a look what it has to offer, let's get to the top of this tower, Ooh. it's uh, it's a bit chuffing, uh, messy on eyes, oh, it's getting night time, absolutely fantastic, so what we got up top, let's run this way around, you know, just in case if anything's waiting for us at the top, spear at the ready, Okay, night time. There's another tower over there. I'm guessing that's another relay station. Right, let's get all this plastic. Beautiful, it's beautiful. Literally what I've been needing on the raft is plastic. Right, so, use. I'm not going to press that just yet. Months ago, my sister Astrid and I were put in charge of the ranger station on Balboa. We handled the bear population and kept the relay towers operational. The next shift was meant to start weeks back, but the replacements never showed up. Henry suggested that I start writing things down after Astrid disappeared, so that I'm not feeling so lonely anymore. Okay, one out of three relay stations active, so it looks like that's going to be our mission, guys, to activate all relay stations. Do I actually have to go back on the acid path? Or can I, like, free run my way down this mountain? Oh, look at that. Techers. Techers, guys. Techers. Can I get out? Yes, I can. Right, I'm going to try... I'm going to have to get back to a signpost, figure out where I need to go, but I need to get to the other two relay stations. Right, this is a bit sketchy now. It's a bit like a... a bit more of a sheer drop. I think I'm going to have to go back the acid way, so we'll video it just for one more time for you guys, so you guys can see. And see if I fall in this time. But, hopefully not, guys. Right, here we go. It is night time, so I'm, I apologise if it's dark, guys. I really do. Sorry for lack of commentary, I am trying to concentrate and not die. It's like playing Roblox. That is that is just something else. It proper tickles with your heart strings that. Okay guys, so we're coming down the hill and this guy just gave me the biggest jump scare of my life. I think I dropped my spear back there, but I'm not too sure. But if I did, if I didn't, it's broken anyways. Oh, I missed. Ow. Met our robot. Stop attacking me, boy. I'm gonna run out of arrows in a minute if he doesn't die. He's gotta die, man. He's gotta die. Come on, man. It's impeccable. How much health this guy got? There we go. There we go. But he jumped out the woods, guys, and he scared me absolutely out my skin. All them arrows give me them all back. Right, so, as I was looking at the sign down here before. I was just having a little peek at this sign literally here. I'm sorry for it being dark, guys. I do apologise, but we need to get this island over with. Or done, should I say. Relay station 2, we've been to 4 and 6 this way. So, we're going to go 4 next. There's a beeping sound, guys, in the distance. I do believe that might be like a radio frequency or something. But there is a few blueprints and stuff to grab on this island as well, guys. So, I do say guys as well a lot in my videos. I do need to cut that out. I do apologise. Also for that, is there any more signposts? Yes, there is. There's one here. Just figure out which way I need to be going. Four and six up this way. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let's get to four and then six. I just nip back here, guys, just to make sure I didn't miss anything. And look at that. Look what I missed up there. Don't want the decoration package, but I just missed that, guys. What the heck? Leftovers meal did not turn out very well. Oh. <laughs> Uh, I guess I didn't need that then, but I did get a recipe, guys, so I'm all for that. So now we're going to try head to Relay Station 4 and 6, as we was doing. I did mess up. Um, I thought I had to come back because I did find the saw, but I didn't have to come back, guys. We have to do all of them first before we come back here. So that's just me being an absolute toss pot. So let's see if we can do this again on camera for your, for your guys. This will be my third time, fourth time. Successful. I fell in. 
I would spoke too soon, didn't I? I really did speak too soon. Oops. Oops, oops, oops. Let's eat that. Right. I've got two vegetable stews. Is that veggie stew? Yeah, vegetable soup. I've got two veg vegetable soups, so when I eat them, my hunger and that will fly through the roof. But let's get down to relay station four and six. Oops. Don't want to die here. Four and six. Let's do this. Okay, guys, we made it to the top of the hill. Relay station four is on his right. Relay station six is on his left. That's a clucker. We've already got one on a little raft. I'm sorry, guys, it's coming night again. But we will see what we can find. Relay station four. This is the monster we call Relay station four. Pick up the stone. Oh, you can just pick the stone up. Nice. Pretty nice. Just grab it all, get it all, need it all. Um. Um. Need to drop the drawbridge somehow. How on God's earth do we get up there? Can I just shoot it with an arrow? This is awful. Oh, nice! I didn't know that'd work. Beautiful. We're across. We're across, guys. Is there any any mobs? Can you see any mobs, guys? I can't see any. <coughs> Pardon me. Right, let's get straight up this tower here. Relay station four, I do believe. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. See what relay station four has to hold. Let's sort the inventory out. I don't actually have a spear anymore due to there not being a lack of there being a lack of trees, guys, to cut down. I'm not actually seeing any. If anyone knows where any are, please let me know in the comments box section below. Looks. I can't get palms, leaves, and I can't get uh, wood at the minute. So if we do have to fight anything up here, we're screwed. Please be no mobs. Please be no mobs. Any notes? No. Nope. Can see a note in there on the side. I think. Let me just check around the back for any mobs or monsters. Can you free run? Somewhere? No. Stop being adventurous. Before living content, let's get in here and search. <gasps> okay. Pick up note, new note added, blueprint, fuel pipe. Oh, to the mofo. Yo. I can set my, uh, that must be two out of three now, yeah. Two out of three. Bruno's hammer. Looks like his uh, screwdrivers are coming in the next tower. <gasps> uh, the kids are fighting. Oh, Hastrid would have known how to make them stop. I found her wrench out by the clearing. I've been calling out on the radio. Please, I just want to talk, sis. Miranda is screaming outside. I hope her and Henry make up soon. Okay, so it looks like they've had a little bit of a falling out around these parts. Is there anything I have forgotten? Because last time I forgot a big, nice box with a load of gear in. Um, I'm not too sure you can. You can't get up that. Right, that's relay station four, guys. Now it's on to six to complete, th complete three out of three, and hopefully get the screwdrivers that we are looking for. I'm just gonna have a quick search around the area, see if I can find some wood and materials to help me make a spear and get me back on my feet for relay station six, because we are gonna have to go back down to relay station two after that, once we've got all Bruno's materials. So let's see if we can get ourselves equipped. Right, guys, we are venturing back across the bridge. I not find any materials whatsoever. Surely this right here is a tree that you can cut down. Yes. Yes. And triple yes. That is what I'm talking about. No. It didn't give us any... Any, um... Any leaves, but... Luckily, I don't need leaves. I brought the rope... Uh, the leaves already. There's got to be another tree that I can chop down. Just one more. One more. There, that one. Now we're talking. Right, we're getting the planks and the leaves. Hopefully some leaves. Just planks? No? No leaves? Okay, great. Right, okay. We've got, we've got, I've got a spear again, guys. Beautiful. B A beautiful. If anyone knows what that film's off, let me know in the comments box section down below. I'll be surprised if anyone does. It's a good film. Right, so straight across now for Relay Station 6. Let's do this. We've got a spear and we're ready to go. I'm feeling... Uh, good about myself not so happy about these bees though they don't auto attack do they 
swarms went like swarms like that. I think it's only if you steal the honeycomb they attack stupidly, like I did in a previous episode. If you guys haven't checked out the other episodes, start from the beginning. It's been an absolute awesome adventure so far, and I've had so much fun playing this game. If any of you guys want to get it, it's like ten dollars or ten British pounds on Steam. Check it out. It's amazing. I love this game. Right, is there any more trees? I can cut that down, right? Right. Let's get some logs. Get a pine cone or two. I'm just trying to get as many logs as I can, guys, or planks, because... Because we need them, and I'm feeling like there's a mob. Real Station 6. I'm feeling like a bear or something's coming up, guys, because we haven't seen anything in a while. I know it's not dark, so I'm sorry if you guys are struggling to see right now. Um, but just bear with me. Just trying to survive getting through these woods. Okay, so we're coming into like a cave area. No way do you need to make the machete to get through this. Oh, you're kidding me. Do I have a machete? I don't even think I've researched the machete. Did I? Uh, I'm not pretty sure I didn't. I'm not sure if you need the machete to get through there. Let me just have a little quick look into it guys i just did a little search up guys you'll never guess what the machete blueprint is located inside mama bear's cave so now i've got to go all the wrong ways and locate where mama bear's cave is just to find this machete so let's see if i can find this mofo okay hostile number one we've got a bear i don't know if this is mama bear i'm pretty sure it ain't because she's in a cave but no ammo, so we're we'll gonna have to spear him to death. But watch this, guys. I found out a technique. I didn't think it was gonna be a bad. If you keep like jumping back like that, when he swings, he's actually gonna miss you. So you can get one or two swings in before he can even hit you, which is pretty cool. See, he's got two in, and he didn't even hit me. Literally, he's losing this just because he can't get close enough to me. And when he does, he gets a good one hit in like that. I'll just keep backing up and I'll just keep stabbing away. But with a wooden spear, it takes like 400 more times as many hits. This guy's gonna have to die, man. Can't kill a mama bear like this. Wouldn't need like 500 arrows. There we go. He, he broke a spear. He broke my spear. This is not good. I don't think I have enough spears or anything to kill a mama bear. We'll have to see what size she is and what she looks like at first. But we need that machete, guys. And that is located inside her cave. So we have got to find her. We have just got to find her. <gasps> Jesus, what the f The flip? How the heck am I supposed to kill this guy? Oh god. Now we're on the move. On the move, spear crafting. With different content. When times are tough. I need to bring him back up the hill. I don't like running downhill. He's a lot bigger. It, it looks like his 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 hitbox is uh, easy for me to hit when he's coming up at me. Ow! He's gonna break my spear again, isn't he? Stabbing the absolute heck out of his neck. How is he not dead? Fighting bears for days, guys. Fighting bears for days. But I will let you know. As soon as I we figured out this Mama Bear's Curse thing. And no, for the record, anyone that's thinking, I did not just die. That's his body, and I just harvested it. For anyone that was wondering in the comments box section why I cut it off, I did not die. Where is Mama Bear's Cave? There were two of them sat just here. Two of them. So I'm thinking, is Mama Bear's Cave up, or is it around the corner? I'm going to guess up. I don't think it'd be round here. I don't think it'd be round here at all. I think this is another way to get up to it when you're not following the signs and they put two bears there just to like say, ha, you're trying to cheat. We got, we'll stop you. Let's see if we can climb up. I need a good scout location. Let me just, I'm going to find out where this cave is, guys. Uh, this looks like a cave. Nope, that's where I need to go for the next mission. <laughs> Okay, guys, I think I might have found Mama Bear's cave. But that is the big mama. Trust me, because that's a cave. Oh, God, I just need to get in here and loot the fucking blueprint. Screw this this hoe. 
Where's the blueprint? Where's the blueprint? Go, go, go. Oh god, where has she gone? Where did she go? I'm hiding in here. There ain't no there ain't no stopping me now. Nail. Scrap. Yes guys, I am being hunted by a big ass bear and I'm just dossing around it, digging up dirt. <laughs> right, I just gotta find this blueprint. I think it's over this side. Where's the bear? The bear's gone. I managed to lose her attention, but I am in a cave. Do I have to kill her? Or is this not the cave? Ah, this has gotta be the cave. It's got to be. Said that the cave's covered in mushrooms and pieces of dirt. I'm pretty sure that is what I've just found in here. This isn't the cave, then. Oh, do I have to dig up these pieces of dirt for the blueprint? Nope. She's coming back. <sighs> she has seen me. Oh, God, this is scary. This is so, so scary. We have to see if we can defeat it, guys, and hopefully I can. So guys, a funny little one, I did just find a little bicycle in the woods here, and I pinged its um, bell, and it just gave me an achievement saying ping. So if you guys want to come and find that in the woods, you can. Just just thought I'd put it in there, just in case you guys were wondering, if you could hear that little ding. Okay guys, so, defeating this mama bear, I'm not sure it's going to be as easy as we thought. So, look at the size, sheer size of this thing. Look at the size of it, sat right there. We must have ran past it a couple of times and didn't even realise. So this is what you're going to have to do, guys, if you can't fight it. Because I cannot fight it in the current state I am in. Use this little troughing basket here. Them wild berries I've been picking up. Use five wild berries. <gasps> Fuck the duck. It's my part of my language. I wonder how long it'll take her to eat them. Let's go. We ain't got long. We're going to get in here. Get up bloody blueprint case and get the heck out of here <laughs> machete pick up the crate pick up the crate pick up the crate come on 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 I got a machete I can't pick up scrap hook oh god pinecone get out my bags scrap hook I don't want to get stuck in here man really don't want to get stuck in here let's go let's go let's go let's go let's go gotta go gotta go gotta go gotta go Oh, five wild berries must have just done it perfect. I've collected a nice amount. Right, let's get to relay station six. I did forget to show you guys what we just got, so let's just have a quick look. Blueprint for fuel pipe, that's already in my bag. The me machete, the machete, the machete is in my bag. Uh, I did get a full scrap hook, nice. Got some biofuel, my inventory is actually <sighs> through the roof at the minute. What do I actually need right now? Stone, don't need you. Planks go in the bag, creates a space up front. I love eating that drink. I've got nothing to drink. Great. I could do with really going back to the raft, guys, to be honest, but I'm not sure how close the raft is to us from here compared to Relay Station 6. I think it's just back down that hill, the raft. So just bear with me, guys. I'll be back. Alrighty, guys. So we did get the machete. We bypassed the mama bear. Not, I wouldn't say bypass, but. We managed to get past her. Look at that. Choppy, choppy, choppy. Nice. Now we're in. <laughs> I did bring a headlight. Don't want to chuck that on the floor. Did bring a headlight just in case. You never know. So even if we could have bypassed the first vines, you'd have still needed them again. This is spooky. I am going to take the time and just grab all this, guys. Why not? I need it. Need it for stuff on the raft, so let's get it all. And I'm going to be getting a new headset, guys, so I do apologise if I am very loud or anything. I've been watching some of the footage back, and I do talk over the game quite a bit, but I do apologise for that. Yeah, uh, ooh, look at that. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's get it. Uh, stairs on the opposite side. Would you look at that view? Would you look at that view? Right, I did collect a little. Ooh. I haven't seen Errol all night. I asked Miranda, but she and Henry won't tell me anything. Oh, they are hiding something. Did they figure out there's only space for two of them on the boat? 
I've decided. I leave the triplets in charge of the remaining relay stations. Bobby will take care of the bears. Yes, it's for the best. So many memories of this place. We'll find you, sis. I promise. Whoa, okay. Hello. There's a geezer in here. Buddy! Okay, so this guy with trap was a bear. <gasps> Fuel tank. Very nice. All right, yeah. <laughs> Why? What's he lifting? The noob. Any more? Oh, plastic. That's what we need. Not lots and lots of plastic. So it looks like we got our uh, link to Caravan Town, guys. So that is our next location on the let's play here in on differing content <laughs> here at differing content but we do need i do believe we have a bunch of the tools i'm not sure if we've got the little screwdrivers but i'm gonna bob back down to relay station two just so let's put your guys out your misery and give it a check i just found this on the island guys on the floor so let's give it a check betrayal father trusts the murderers he would leave us behind. <laughs> we can't have that. What is going on here? Father has to make a decision. I know it won't be me, so I will be spared. Not enough boat for all of us. I am sorry, Errol. The guilty lay restless. We must be punished if we are to rest. Got a one light bulb, so I need to go back to Relay Station 2 and test all this little stuff out and see what happens. Okay, guys, apologies for the darkness once again. This island did take a fair while to do, but let's just see what we got. Fix Errol. Is he supposed to turn on? Errol? Hello? Maybe not. Use one hammer. Nice, we got a revelation. So we're getting achievements, guys. This new note we just got. Caravan, uh, Balboa Island, Merry Christmas from Nowhere. Was that what we just got? There's the map for it all. There's the little notes. So yeah, it looks like we did get everything quite there. Travel log. There's actually quite a lot of stuff to get, like, to do in the, in the mission logs and stuff, guys. There's a lot of stuff I may have missed, so I do apologise for any of that. But let's get back to the raft. Okay, guys, we got back to the raft, so in the next episode, we shall be cracking on with... Really, man? Oh, you absolute goon. You absolute goon. No way. No way. But yeah, guys, as I was saying, in the next episode, we're going to be cracking on with, like, likes of fuel pipes, biofuel refiners. Biofuel refiners, sorry. Have I researched the rest in here? Fuel tank, specially designed to store biofuel. We can link all these up with pipes, guys, which is what I, want, what I want to be on bottom deck, along with like animals, maybe, and vegetation, and food and water on bottom deck, and then up deck. Up on top is going to be like main operations with your receiver, your storage. You know, it's going to be a, like, like a crazy raft. One episode, you, probably, you guys are probably going to come back, and it's just going to be like a super raft or something cool. Well, no, I won't, I won't go into detail like that, but I probably would actually, yeah. Uh, if it comes to it, when it comes to it, guys, when I get the time, I've just been cracking on with the storyline for your guys' faces, because I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Right, so, let's put the new code in together, guys, before we end the episode. Number Episode 10 of our 4977 of our raft survival exploration together. 4977. 4... Nine. One up. Boom shakalaka. There you go. 1,962 meters behind us. So we shall be heading that way in the next episode. But I've been different content. Thank you for tuning in with me this episode. I hope you have enjoyed. So don't forget to like, subscribe, ding on that notification bell. Share with your friends, share with your family. Share some love. And I appreciate all the support. You guys and you 
even I'm not even just making it to, for the money or anything. The videos, it's just purely because I love uh, making them get VR guys' faces, and there's nothing more than kicking back with you got you guys and just you know chilling and playing these games that I absolutely adore. Down to Earth. World of Warcraft also is another game that has my heart, but before I get too soppy and make this too long, I've been different content. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out, my friends.